Yo, what's good, YouTube? In today's video, I got you guys with my top five metal loadouts here to use, and of course, a 40 bomb gameplay to showcase one of my favorite loadouts. So, as always, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like, subscribe, notifications turned on, and let's get into it. Ooh, a loadout crate. That's right, just got a couple perks, basically. Oh. Yeah, I'm on fire right now for perks. Nope. Kill confirmed. I need this. That's the movement one. Yeah, we're good. Bro, this is cracked. This is like one of the first times I've actually played this mode, gotten all my perks and everything. Turn that down. Oh, please miss some shots. Run into that, run into that. I might need to take my ass over there. This is so hectic top, Priz. Come on, dude. Bro, I'm a little bit shocked. This mode is hectic as hell. Alright, let's see if I can grab my loadout real quick. Hey, let me be. Enemy destroyed. Use your attack map to hunt down the rest. Oh my lord. Oh, load up great, nice. Enemy soldier incoming. Hunt remaining operators from that squad. Hunt them down. I need the I need the fast reload joint. Come on, you have me one of those? Aww. I want to actually team wipe, y'all. Oh, for real? That was wild. This is a bad spot to be. Yeah, 
Yep. All right, where are people at? That That's my big thing. I, I try to drop in specifically a little farther away. Just so I wouldn't get screwed. Also, I'm opening as many of these things as possible. You for real gotta pick and choose where you go with this uh this this map or this layout here. This mode. Yo, this is insane. Yeah, there is. Marked remaining operators from that squad. Hunt them down. I love this mode though. This is gas. Come here, big fella. When I get the cutoff? Yep. This little squeaker just called me a pussy. How ironic. Oh god. That was almost sketchy as hell. I need to get some of the other perks. I only got these two right now. Come on, give me something I don't got. Oh. They're not helping me out here with that. We got the the one lone wolf over there. UAV is being fuel. RTV at this time. Hey. Requesting recon flyover. Is there someone up in here? No, he was just flying over. All right, they got to move. Enemies dropping into the AO. I'm trying to get that cut off up here. Resurgence has been deactivated. This is the end game. Oh, no resurgence is off. Buddy, come on. Watch it. Kinda got me with that. Enemies are dropping into the area. Watch the skies. You know what? Hold up. Good God. He's outside, right? So that guy could still be very up top. He is. 
We're gonna wait him out. We're gonna wait him out. Come on, buddy. Move. We need out junior vibes. Rip. I got the high ground. I know there's gonna be the one fella like a jailbreak that's huge Yo, all this guy seems right about to come back unless he's like a solo which I doubt Yo, what? Brew that? No shot. Anyone got mid cal rounds? Hold up. Oh no, damn bro. Second place, second place. I was going nuts that game. Just dropped a nice little 44 in that mode. That was hectic as hell, man. I love that. All right, hope you guys enjoyed that gameplay. Now let's hop into my top five meta loadouts. And of course, I'll start out with the exact loadout I was using within that 40 plus kill gameplay. So this is the Holger 556, and this is pretty much my favorite build to run on Resurgence with it. So. First attachment is that VT7 Spirit Fire Suppressor, keeping me off the radar, helping my recoil control and bullet velocity and range. Uh, pretty much gives me a 5, 5, and 7% increase. And then for recoil, a 7% increase for help overall. So I really like that. I don't really feel like I need to run something like a Casas break or whatever like that. I just feel like the VT7 works out great for me. So I got that on there. Next up, we have the Cryo 6 Match Barrel. This is the largest barrel you guys can run for the Holger, so I'd recommend for you guys to run this. You don't ever switch it out for anything else. You always got to run this barrel on there, unless for whatever reason it somehow gets nerfed into the ground. You should always run this barrel. Now we're going to skip the underbarrel section, go straight for the optic, and we run in that Jack Glassless Optic. This is one of my favorite red dots to run in the game. You guys could always go for something like a Slate Reflector, a Nidar Model 2023. It's totally up to you, but for me, I feel like the I get a little less visual recoil when I use the Jack Glassless. It kind of helps mitigate some of your recoil a little bit, so um, I really like that, so that's why I got that on there. Of course, down below, we have that 40 round mag because we don't have an option for anything bigger. I would prefer a 50 or a 60, maybe in a 60 round mag kind of guy. I'd prefer to be a 60, but there's not the option for that. And lastly, we're going to go back in here and we're going to throw on the RB Adel Assault Stock for that increase in recoil control and gun kick control, making this thing very, very easy and stable to use and also still gives you great mobility. That's one of my other gripes with some of the longer range guns is that they're not as good mobility wise. And I feel like this is a prime mobility AR with great recoil control here for Rebirth Island. So definitely try this one out. Let's move on to the next gun. Of course, right after that, we are pairing with the HRM9. So let's move into that build here. First attachments at Zem 35 Compensated Flash Hider. This is a pretty standard, a tried and true attachment we've been running. I remember initially when that Jack BFB got thrown into the game, everyone was running that. You could throw in like a no stock on the Jack BFB. You definitely do not want to run this at all anymore. You should only be running that Zem 35 if you are going to be running a compensator of some sort, especially on an SMG. There's no reason to run basically anything else. This just does everything for you. And it also shortens your overall radar ping, which can be very, very nice. Um, after that, we're going to go up in here into the barrel section. We're throwing on that Thor 90. I see people switching out this barrel for something like the high grain rounds. 
that can work maybe a little bit better in Warzone ranked or something like that. But I feel like if I'm just moving around here and trying to be super agile and mobile, having the Thor 90 on there makes me feel a lot better about my HRM. And so I always go for this. I've tested it back and forth and I didn't notice that much of a difference in between using, you know, the high grain, getting like more damage output or anything else like that. So I just went back to my Thorn and I felt a lot more comfortable with it. So comfortability at the end of the day is what makes your loadout the best for you. Um, after I'm going to go down here, throw on that DR6 hand stop. This is just prime mobility right here. Nothing else recoil wise doesn't help you in any capacity. So we have that on there. Now I'm going to go down here and throw on the 50 round drum here. This is pretty much what we always do. No reason to run anything else. Doesn't matter. Don't ever go for the 30 round stock or of course this, you know, BS 20 mag down here. Does make sense. Uh, always go for that 50. And lastly, but definitely not least, um, kind of a switch from what we normally speaking would run. We'd always run that folding stock, but I feel like I didn't need as much um, the recoil control properties and I just wanted more movement. So I went for the hatchet light stock and hey, lo and behold, this thing is still an absolute laser beam even when I happen to have the hatchet versus the folding. So definitely try this one out. If you feel like there's a little bit more recoil stuff that you like, then maybe throw on that folding stock and you'll be good to go. But otherwise, throw on the hatchet light and this will be a prime rebirth SMG for you guys to use. So I hope you enjoy this one. Now let's move on to the next loadout. Next up is the SOA Subverter. This is a very effective long range gun that we are going to be utilizing the iron sights for. And I prefer, I'm going to tell you guys this right now, I prefer the Holger 556 over this, but I know some people enjoy their battle rifles and they like the Subverter. So I'll give you guys a prime build here for it. So the Cost Break L is going to be our first attachment, helping with that horizontal recoil. It's much easier to control some vertical recoil because all it does is pull up. And as a counter reaction, all you have to do is pull down on the stick or, you know, back with your mouse a little bit in order to be able to control it. Much easier than counteracting side to side, which can be a little bit more unpredictable, not as easy to be able to control. So we have that on there. Uh, now we're going to go up in here to the barrel section for that Dozer 90 long barrel. Always go for this. Uh, it doesn't make sense to run anything else realistically. Uh, this just helps you out with your range. So always go for that and a variety of other things. Now we're going to go down here and throw in that Bruin Heavy support grip. Uh, this is just the attachment we run on pretty much a lot of our main assault rifles. If you're not going to go for something like the Holger, which has that stock on it, um, you could even if you really wanted to switch out that stock for a Bruin Heavy on that Holger if you feel so inclined. But um, I wouldn't particularly do that. Not on Rebirth. Uh, maybe for big map you could try that but basically this is just a great attachment overall so i like this now to go on down here throw on the 50 round drum mag no reason to run anything else um i see this attachment here don't go for it doesn't make sense you need that 50 it's your primary assault rifle or your long range weapon so you always should have the biggest mag on there within reason right um now we're going back here for our final attachment that's gonna be that motion dash v2 heavy stock and this would be the attachment you can replace for an optic if you want to. So take off the Motion V2 Heavy, throw on like your Jack Glassless, maybe your Corio Eagle Eye 2.5X, something like that. And that'll be uh, good to go for right there. So always go for this, but this is a great iron sight build. This will be really fun to run around with on Rebirth Island. Now moving into one of my favorite high mobility SMGs, the Striker 9. This is an absolute banger, kind of an underrated SMG in the game right now that you guys should be using. So. The Zem 35 Compensated Flash Hider is our first attachment, much like it was for the HRM9. So we got that on there. Uh, we're going to go up in here and we're going to throw on that Striker Recon Long Barrel. So there's no reason for us to run the Striker Elite Long because this definitely slows us down in every capacity. While it does make this gun slightly easier to control, I would prefer to have ever so slightly more recoil and have a whole lot more mobility or for what for me feels like more mobility. I feel like I can control that as opposed to being a little bit slower running around the map. I'm trying to like zoom through place i'm trying to zoom zip a, zip around between you know these little cubbies and stuff like that of rebirth like i got a bob and weave especially playing solo quads so having more mobility is a little bit more important to me now we're going down here we're throwing the xrk edge bw-4 hand stop this is just once again kind of like that dr6 no sort of recoil control uh benefits or capabilities and all it does is just help make you a little bit faster so we got that on there and then of course we go throw on that 50 round drum this is pretty standard for this build. And then the stock section is where you can kind of get a little bit crazy with it. So you guys could go for the Lockman MK light stock, the Striker Factory, or the no stock stock attachment. But keep in mind, the no stock is probably going to be a little bit more for like very experienced uh, players for that are, that are really good with recoil control. You'd probably have to switch out the underbarrel to have something like maybe the FTAC MSP, which actually has some vertical recoil control properties. You never really have to mess around with that stuff in there. Um, so otherwise, if you want something that's still got great mobility and not going to be a no stock gun, throw on like the Lockman MK2 or the Striker Factory and you pretty much be good to go. I've seen some people try to throw this on here for like Warzone ranked or something like that, but obviously we're not playing ranked. We're just you know, having fun in public match, 
you know, Rebirth Island or Warzone, whatever you happen to be playing. So this is my full build right here for the Striker 9. If you guys like this one. Lastly, but definitely not least, I kind of want to give this Verdance Bruin some love because this is actually a very effective long range option right up there at that Holger subverter. Like it's it's really, really good. So you need an assault rifle, a battle rifle, now an LMG for your long range. So VT7 Spearfire Suppressor is our first attachment. Not going to explain this one too much. You guys know what it does. Uh, we're skipping that barrel section, go right down here, throwing that Bruin Heavy support just to stabilize it out. This is going to be one of the lowest recoil guns out there uh, in terms of your long range capabilities. So it's very easy to use with this exact build and you really don't have to switch up absolutely anything on it. No matter if you're playing big map, small map, whatever you're playing, you can run it the exact same way. Now we're going to go on down, of course, throw on the 60 round mag. So I know this is an LMG and it should have a bigger mag by default, like the 100 round mag. But I would prefer to have the 60 and get more mobility out of it and still have all the characteristics or the good characteristics of an LMG as opposed to having like a lot more slow sort of you know mobility and stuff like that i just i don't like it and i feel like the reload speed's actually very fast on the mag too even without slate of hand so i think that is a great option but this is a little bit more personal preference on if you don't want to run a mag you want to run the 200 belt round mag or just go for the 60 like me now we're gonna go up in here throw on that jack glassless optic this is going to help mitigate some of that visual recoil or recoil overall uh, great optic you guys could throw on something like you know choreo eagle eye if you want to in place of that or any of the other red dot sites not going to be a giant difference between the jack glasses and the red dots but i'm not exactly sure about that choreo eagle eye i personally don't like to run it like that because i just like having a red dot on and even i was playing like vondel or something like that i was still going for a red dot site and lastly we're going uh down here not to that conversion kit we're going to go in here to the rear grip throw on that tip 40. this is going to help us out their overall recoil control making this gun very very easy to use so this is my full build right here that's been my top five you guys enjoyed this video and those gameplays for that gameplay be sure to give it a like subscribe to notifications turn on check out this other video on screen i'll see you all next time